Hi guys, Sherry here from No Fuck Skim Crew. How's it going? So, um, this hand sign has produced a lot of controversy. Apparently, it is a very evil symbol that people who uh, worship the devil apparently use. So, um, I mean, what's worse, this or this? Seriously, none of them are bad symbols. They are just conditions that society has placed on you. Um, uh, there's stories, you know, passed down from generation to generation, and that's all they are. They have no meaning behind them whatsoever. Um, you choose to believe uh, what you choose to believe. If you make it um, about devil worshiping, then that's what it, it's going to be for you. Um, I don't feel that people should have to change themselves just to make other people comfortable. So I'm going to continue to be me and do what makes me happy and makes me feel at peace. And that's the whole point of being conscious and awake is to be your true authentic self and not bend to other people's will because they you know, they feel uncomfortable with how you are acting. Um, if you're finding resistance, you know, because of somebody else's actions, then that is just a reflection of you. Wow, Divine Masculine just popped out. Okay, so today is going to be a Twin Flame reading from... April the 12th until the 20th, 2017. So I'm going to be using John Holland's Psychic Tarot um, and my cards for any clarifiers. And I may use the Osho Zen Tarot as well. So we'll see how that goes. So um, a regular twin flame reading. And I'm going to pull three cards per position for um, clarifiers, okay? Also, uh, I will be using um, Call It Baron Reed Enchanted Map for Message from the Universe. All right. So, beginning with the feminine recent past position, sacrifice. So, uh, this talks about letting go of control, surrendering, um, seeing things from a different perspective, from a higher perspective. So, I'm feeling that the feminine overall as a collective has um, surrendered and um, are allowing you know destiny to play out as it should not trying to coax it along make it happen faster um, you know or just change situations to suit your own needs it's surrendering allowance letting go that's beautiful Okay, so for the masculine recent past position, wow, star card, wish granted. Um, so you wished upon a star and your wish has been granted by the universe. And it's because of all of the um, hard work that you put into healing your heart. So this card comes after a difficult period of time. Um, it usually indicates that you went through the dark night of the soul. Um, so you've released the pain, you've let go of the past, and you're, you've, you're healing yourself. So this is a, um, a healing stage. And it also um, is about reflection as well. Looking at, back at your life and, and um, seeing where things things need to change for the future but it mostly it means hope optimism that the worst is over now but more importantly wish granted okay so the feminine's uh, present position partnerships and alliances three wands so you made a decision in the recent past um, that had to do with your higher purpose living your true authentic life and it wasn't based on fear. So you surrendered, you let go, you saw things from a higher perspective. The Two of Wands is a decision being made in the past. 
uh, it's an expansion of the mind, seeing all the horizons, seeing all the possibilities. Whereas the Three of Wands is starting to see the fruits of your labor um, and continuing to wait for you know that return. So there's a sense of success. Um, the Wands card is a spirit card. I just realized that I haven't been pulling any cards, uh, clarifiers for each position. <laughs> okay, well, um, let's continue on here. So the three, or sorry, the wands is a spirit card. Um, so it has to do with your higher purpose. And in the John Holland deck, it talks about two people coming together to work towards a, a shared goal or a f shared vision. So here we have the divine feminine and masculine coming together and the feminine is providing that um, openness, the expansiveness for which the masculine can um, approach her with. <laughs> okay, so should we go back? Should we go back? Yes, let's do that. Okay, so three cards for um, the hangman, please, spirit. Temperance, the Hermit, and the Knight of Swords. So Temperance is my ultimate union card. It is two halves of the soul coming back together again. So she is ultimate balance between the spiritual and the physical. And uh, she sits at the center of all zero point. And this also represents... Uh, patience as well, planting the seed, allowing it to take root and then nurturing it um, with love, kindness, and compassion, um, allowing it to grow, to gestate. The hermit is someone who has retreated from society, from the conditions, from their, um, their past life. They've let it all go in order to go off on a journey to find their true authentic self and their purpose, you know, uh, in the universe, which is to live their true authentic life. So, yeah, it's a detachment from society. Um, so they do that in order to gain wisdom and knowledge in order to come back and share that with others. So... The Knight of Swords is the champion, the rebel without a cause. He speaks his truth. He is emotionally detached, um, clarity of thought. Um, he holds the sword of truth, which cuts away the barriers, the darkness. Um, so what I'm feeling here from the three cards is that you've surrendered the feminine, letting go of control, letting go of conditions, letting go of the material world, and you are in a state of balance and peace in the now. And you know what your truth is. You have clarity. Um, and you're willing to stand up for that. But what I'm seeing mostly is a spiritual um, awakening and peace, tranquility, allowance. Okay, so for the masculine here, star card, page of cups, ace of pentacles, and the magician. So the page of cups is a messenger of love. So it's feeling love for another person and expressing that. So it's communication. Um, the page also represents the muse. Um, thing that artists write about in poetry or paint about so it's um yeah it opens up this gateway this um creative force that is attached to love so what i'm feeling is there's been some form of communication or expression of love in the recent past um, the Ace of Pentacles is a brand new beginning. It is a gift from the universe. So it's a new beginning in the 3D world. This is the Earth. 
uh, Pentacles is Earth. So it also represents abundance um, and good fortune coming towards you. So, you know, what I'm feeling is that there is this beginning, this connection, and it planted a seed of intention. And now, um, now that seed is growing and it's because of this manifestation. Um, this is a master manifester, the magician. He draws energy from source and, um, you know, makes his ideas and his dreams a reality. So he pulls thoughts from um, source and into the 3D world. So this is realizing that you can shape your reality the way that you choose it to be. Um, you can sculpt your surroundings. You have that power within you in order to do that. So my feeling here is that there's been a release a major healing allowing and letting go and now the masculine is feeling hopeful um, and it has to do with wanting to express love and manifesting that love into reality and um, spirit is saying that your wish is granted okay three cards for the three of wands please Whoa. Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands, wow, and the Hierophant, Ace of Cups, brand new beginning of love. It is being fully open and receptive to giving and receiving love. So um, this card only comes when you let go of the past, you've healed your heart, and you are truly open uh, to to love, true love. The Seven of Wands is um, standing up for what you believe in, uh, showing your strength and courage to speak up and speak out, never giving up and never surrendering. So again, um, the wand has to do with spirit, so it has to do with your higher calling, your higher destiny. And here, it's almost like, you know, the, the belief is coming from the masculine and it has to do with you know this new beginning of love so the hierophant is the high priest it is the divine masculine in his spiritual 5d form and he's saying i'm with you always in the 5d even though i'm not with you in the 3d and we are coming together in spirit to um have this new beginning of love and to not give up Never, you know, never give up. So, yeah, finding strength to reach out and stand your ground. Okay, so the masculine present position. Nine of Wands, spiritual strength. So, the nine is when you've gotten to that point where you feel like you can't go on anymore that you've, um, you know, you've been struggling and struggling um, to find the strength in order to give it that one final push. And Spirit is saying that you are strong enough, that you have that within you, um, and to not give up. So, yeah. Five of Cups, Three of Wands, and seven of swords so present position the wounded warrior the five of cups is mourning heartbreak loss it's grieving um, this happens when you have attachments to a person or to a situation and when it doesn't work out the way you had hoped it would then you feel this pain so presently he feels like giving up like he he doesn't have it in him to give it that final push and um he's also still experiencing you know this healing process however he is feeling successful about it 
Three of Wands again. It's a mirroring here. We got the Three of Wands on this side, and then he has the same card. So there's a sense of making a decision to let go of fear, to let go of pain. Um, and um, focus on your higher vision, your higher spiritual purpose. And, um, you know, give it that final push. So in doing so, you feel like you're on the right path um, because you're excited about life. And, yeah. So again, with the Seven of Swords, deception, envy, feeling like you're being lied to. Um, you don't know whether or not you should take that chance um, and give it that final push, even though you know deep at the core of who you are that it is the right decision for you, but you know that, or you have a fear that you will be deceived and your heart will be broken if you take this leap of faith towards your destiny. So there's, um, although there's a sense of success and like you're on the right spiritual path, um, you're questioning it, guarding your heart, wondering if this is real or just an illusion. But look within yourself, listen to your inner Buddha, and there you will find the answer. Near future for the feminine, shadow. So the moon, this talks about facing your shadow aspect, um, facing your fears, all those things you've been ignoring and um, looking beneath the surface through the illusion to the reality of what's happening around you. So it, it's a sense of uh, a dark night of the soul, facing your fears head on directly and moving through that veil. Three of Cups, Queen of Cups, and Six of Cups, holy moly. Three of Cups is union. It's two people falling in love to create a third energy, which is love. And it's being happy and excited about it. Um, it makes you come alive. Um, you feel ex exhilarated and so it's celebrating that love. The Queen of Cups is, could represent a water sign, but it's someone who is highly intuitive. Um, she uses her inner guidance in order to make decisions. She sees through the illusion. She sees through um, the darkness to the reality of a situation. So I'm seeing that this card is a strength because of the fact that it comes with the queen who is intuitive and that's what this card is about intuition using your subconscious um, you know in order to guide you um, the queen of cups is also an open vessel she gives love freely um, and receives love freely the six of cups is um, a reunion here we've got union, this is a reunion. This is somebody from your past coming back. And um, it has to do with memories of love, memories that make you feel happy and love and um, pure and innocent and childlike. So, um, what I'm feeling is the feminine knows her truth and is an open vessel and because of that love is coming towards her you'll notice that I've changed I've been doing some work on my cards so a couple of them are a little bit more bling bling to them okay so near future for the masculine Wow, Four of Wands. So this is my Twin Flame 1111 calling card for the John Holland deck. So this is that arrival. It could mean engagement, marriage, 
buying a home property, but it, it's um, the twin flame union and start grounded in the 3D. And again, wands has to do with your higher purpose. Eight of Swords, Two of Cups, and Two of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is feeling locked behind the bars of your mind. It's a mental prison. It is um, having thoughts consuming you, negative energy around you, stopping you from moving forward. So it's an energy from the outside that is pushing down on you, um, making you believe that you are a prisoner, that you can't move forward with what you truly desire. Um, but in reality, you are choosing to believe those lies. And maybe it's to protect yourself, to protect your heart. Um, Yes, in order to have this spiritual union and happy ending, a sacrifice needs to be made. But ultimately, you would be living your life every day, sacrificing your true, um, your true high, higher destiny, your calling, is to be love, be loved, and be happy. Being on earth does not require sacrifice. Being in love and loving another does not require sacrifice. You choose to believe that you are stuck in this pr prison. And um, holding yourself back from feeling that true love, that bliss, that happily ever after. So there are thoughts that are consuming you. Maybe you feel that the sacrifice is too great um, and it's easier just to stay where you are. Um, but ultimately, you are the one keeping yourself imprisoned. The Two of Cups is spiritual union. So this is not longing for union. It is union. So for some, you know, not at this point, I'm, I'm thinking there's a, a realization that a decision needs to be made about the spiritual union and a movement towards that. Um, I was going to say, for some it may be union, but we'll see what the rest of the cards say. But I mean, they're kind of screaming out, union. <laughs> so, um, yeah, a decision needs to be made by the masculine, and I'm feeling maybe he does decide to release himself from that prison. So the spiritual union, it's um, recognizing your twin flame, recognizing the connection that you have with that person is unlike anything you've ever experienced in your life. It makes you come alive. It connects you to deeper parts of your soul. It, you know, they are reflections of you. So, um, what you see in them is what you love about yourself. So they help you to see who you are. So it's a deep soul connection. The Two of Swords is making a decision. Both have far reaching consequences. Um, but because that de decision can't be made, um, it's keeping you locked behind, you know, in this mental prison. So my feeling is that the masculine realizes that it is just a mental prison, that the connection you feel with your divine feminine is real and it's a deep connection. And ultimately, um, love can't be denied. So I'm feeling... Um, a decision and a release. Okay, so final come for the feminine. Wow, Ace of Cups again. Brand new beginning of love. A lot of reaching out energy coming together. So again, this is being 
in a state where you've healed your heart and you are open to giving and receiving love. Wow, completion. Oh my God, divine masculine twin flame. And the king of swords. Okay, so um, completion, the world card. It is the end of the fool's journey. It is that final piece of the puzzle being placed. Um, so this is going through, you know, it, it represents up to a 20 year cycle. So it's a completion of that cycle. So um, it is going through all the stages of the awakening process, um, you know, purging, um, letting go of your fears, letting go of the ego, letting go um, of your past life and all of its, all the attachments, all the fear and rising, the Phoenix rising, rebirth, and then coming to a state of understanding and know, knowing and stillness and um, having that connection to the universe, realizing that you are the universe, looking back at you. And here we have, wow, the divine masculine twin flame as an outcome. Um, I honestly cannot ask for a better set of cards that would represent union. So it's in the divine masculine brings his cup of love and in the final piece of the puzzle is placed. So again, this card represents nothing other than the divine masculine twin flame. And then we have an air sign here, the King of Swords. So this is mental clarity. It is being detached from your emotions in order to make a very important decision. Um, it is also cutting away the darkness, the barriers. So he comes not only with his cup of love, but as his true authentic self. Um, having complete this major cycle and it comes with mental clarity decision unwavering the truth okay so final outcome for the masculine oh where'd this card come from that's weird. Must have been left over from another reading. My apologies. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Okay. The Fool card. That's freaking hilarious. So after the Fool's journey is completed, there comes a new beginning. And that's what the Fool card is. It's taking that leap of faith. It is um, trusting in destiny, not having preconceived ideas it's you know looking through looking at the world through a child's eyes but it's a brand new start starting from zero queen of pentacles four cups and three of swords okay queen of pentacles earth sign so this represents the 3D queen, someone you can hold uh, and touch. Um, so this is a new beginning with this earthly queen. So it's, you know, taking that leap of faith and deciding to have a brand new life in the 3D. She also represents abundance, um, giving freely without um, expecting anything in return. The Four of Cups is stagnation and boredom. It's feeling like things aren't moving fast enough. Um, it also represents not taking a cup of love that was offered to you. And that's what I'm feeling here for some, is that the masculine um, refused to take that cup of love from the feminine in order, because he was afraid of having his heart broken. Um, so my feeling is that at some point he will release himself from that mental prison 
make that decision um, to release himself from the state of mind, state of being, and have that brand new beginning with the one he desires. Again, three of swords is a broken heart. So letting go of those final little fears that is holding him back. Sorry, there's a fan going here, so it knocks my cards over. All right, so um, let me just move these over a bit. Okay, so beginning, or sorry, um, now we're moving into the union energy. So beginning with the feminine side here, um, what is she bringing in to the union? Wow, heart chakra. Unconditional love. Yes. An open vessel. Allowing. Ten of wands. Wow, 11, 11 calling card. And seven of cups. So ten of wands is one step up from the nine of wands over here. This is exhaustion, burden, burning the candle at both ends. Um, you know, just working yourself to the bone. And the 10 means it's completion. It's an ending to feeling that way. So this feeling is ending. It's also, this has to do with being caught in the machine as well. Um, you know, working day and night uh, and having no rest. So there's a warning here to look after yourself. So the 10 reduces to one, so it's a new beginning. And then we have an 1111. This is the twin flame calling card. Beautiful with the heart chakra. Absolutely perfect. Um, so my feeling here is that um, the feminine is feeling confused. She doesn't see her way clearly. She's questioning whether or not this union is real. Um, so this has has to do with having too many choices and it's a um, scattered energy just confusion um, and it's a water card so it has to do with your emotions so although her heart is open there's a sense of confusion and because of that confusion it's causing worry and a feeling of burden but spirit is saying that um, hang in there that it, you know it's almost this cycle is almost com nearing completion. Okay, so for the f masculine, what, what does he bring in? Two of Pentacles. So this is making that decision to change your life in the 3D, in the physical world. So um, the decision is made, and during that um, you know, that change, that process, things feel a little unsteady, like your, your, your footing is, you know, unsure. So, Spirit is asking you to find that balance, to be resilient and bend with the wind of change. Six of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. So, the Six of Swords, this is finally making a decision to walk away from negative people, negative situations, to calmer waters. It is a stillness of the mind. It's a beautiful card. Finally making that decision, to, no more. I'm not going to sacrifice myself any longer. The Page of Pentacles is making plans um, regarding a long-term goal that has to do with the 3D world. So the decision is made and now the masculine is working on making that that uh, Ace of Pentacles a reality, manifesting that love. So he's at a crossroads. He's made a decision and he's now working on building that decision. And the decision has to do with his higher purpose, his higher um, goals 
it's um, the this could represent a fire sign, but it is the divine masculine stepping into his power. Um, the master of the sun. The sun is masculine energy, so um, fire energy is um, someone who is a leader, takes control. Um, they're entrepreneurs. They make things happen. It has to do with creativity, passion, excitement. Um, but in the twin flame union, it represents the divine masculine twin flame fire energy so the decision to walk away from the negative uh, and start a new life um, makes them come alive that is where the truth is that is where home is Okay, so for the foundation, wow, base chakra. So the union is grounded in the 3D. Um, very similar energy to the Ace of Pentacles, grounding. So this is um, a foundation being laid. It is security, safety. So right now, both twins feel safe and secure. Um, and that union is grounded. Nine of Swords for the Masculine, and Ten of Swords for the Feminine. Wow. So the Ten reduces to One, so Eleven here. Okay, Nine. Very mirroring energy here. Nine of Swords is um, staying up at night, uh, consumed with thought, consumed with fear, anxiety, stress, um, not knowing what to do or how to release yourself from that, wanting... Um, you know, to build upon this foundation, but feeling trapped in fear. You know, again, it goes back to sacrifice. What will I be sacrificing in order to be with the one that I love, my true love? But in reality, are you not just hiding your heart, scared that your heart will be broken, allowing those thoughts to block you so releasing yourself from that mental prison from that state of mind um, you are whole you are perfect the feminine doesn't want anything from you you know it doesn't matter how much money you make what you have to offer her in the 3d um, she loves you and accepts you respects you and knows how much you've worked, how much you've sacrificed, how much effort and pain and exhaustion that you felt because she's gone through the exact same thing. So the Ten of Swords is getting to that point where you feel like you've been stabbed in the back too many times, um, consumed with fear, anxiety, and the Ten is an ending to that. So putting an ending to the burden, the exhaustion, the fear, the anxiety, letting that all fall away and focusing on, you know, the solid base, the strength that comes from this. It's a grounded energy. These are thoughts. Thoughts can be controlled. Okay, so for the crowning, wow, wish granted again, Nine of Cups. So I think the feminine got this in her, the Divine Feminine reading last week. So wish granted, now it's coming in as a shared energy crowning. Oops. Hangman for the masculine and Eight of Pentacles for the feminine. So hangman. The feminine got that in her recent past position, so that's surrendering, letting go of control. And because she did that, that allows the masculine to, you know, release the things, the fears that he needs to release. So surrender. So there's a sense that he is surrendering. 
and allowing as well. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles is um, Earth energy. It is working very hard in the 3D, um, saving your, ma your money, um, laying that foundation, grounding the relationship, and then continuing to work on it. So it's a positive movement forward. So Spirit is saying that because of the work that you've been doing, you, you know, abundance is coming towards you. This is wish granted card, if I didn't already say that, sorry. So, but this card has to do um, with emotional abundance. It's uh, an arrival, feeling like you've gotten to that point where you can just enjoy life. You know, um, not worry about anything other than celebrating life, being happy. So yeah, it's an arrival. Going to restaurants, walking on a beach, um, just doing the things that make you happy and emotionally fulfilled. So there's a sense of surrender from the masculine, change in perspective, and um, this love and happy feels are grounded by the feminine. Okay, so heart-centered energy, throat chakra. So this is communication. Um, there's a sense that they both want to communicate to each other, um, express their truth, um, and not be afraid to speak your truth. So open, honest communication about how you feel, um, what you desire, what you fear, um, and, like I said, being able to do that open and honestly. Ace of Wands and Eight of Wands. Um, both spirit cards. Uh, Ace of Wands is that spark, that inspiration, that brand new start, starting from zero. It's go time. So um, it has to do with your destiny, your higher purpose, wands, fire. So he's bringing a new beginning. Um, this spark <laughs> um, of knowing and consciousness, but he wants a new beginning. And he wants to express that beginning. The eight of wands is my communication card as well. It is, could represent texting phone call but it's energy coming in so this also represents Cupid's arrows so it is either the feminine sending loving energy to the masculine or vice versa um, so this also represents reaching for the stars and having that energy coming back to you All right, so I'm gonna look at the bottom of the deck. Solar plexus chakra, wow, three chakras. So this is finding strength and courage, willpower and determination in order to go after that thing that makes you come alive. So courage and strength is a shared energy for the overall reading. Okay, so now I'm going to um, pull two cards from Call It Bear and Read, and I will read those to you. So, Enchanted Map, Message from the Universe. Starting with the masculine first. Strength. And Ghost Lands. So I'll read Ghost Lands first. You can learn from the past and imagine a beautiful future, but you must live in the here and now. Whenever you set your sights too far ahead, you run the risk of losing your footing, for rarely do the present and the future match up exactly on the enchanted map that is your life. The future has no substance right now. It ha is a place that has no grounding as of yet. 
You can't live there, yet you can make measured steps towards a goal or a dream. These steps are important now. The same goes for nostalgia. You can look into the past wistfully and remember beautiful moments or revisit lessons learned. However, you can't live there, nor can you go back or, and change what was. Yesterday is gone forever. Live fully in the present. The now is the most powerful place to put your attention. Its magic reaches out in every direction, further than your heart and soul can see. In the now. Can you see the little now right there? And this is actually a, a clock. The only time is now. Patience, surrender. Okay, so for strength card. Your true strength comes not from self-reliance alone, but from sincere faith in a higher power. The strength to accomplish even the most daunting tasks is yours at this time. You, cannot, you can connect with and channel uh, the power of the universe. The strength card indicates that your ideas are being tested and refined and your relationships are being deepened. No matter what happens, nothing can move you off course of your evolution. As the potency of your connection becomes more obvious, you're able to harness the creative energies that are available to you. Have courage and dive in, for magic is in the process of finding form to take. When you remember that real strength comes from a combination of your efforts and reliance on a higher power working through you, all is possible. You can do anything now. That's beautiful. So, girlfriends, be in the now and masculine. You're finding your strength, courage, and determination to make uh, the reality that you choose. All right. Peace, guys. Love you much.